sleep apnea. Those with the sleep disorder also tested lower on thinking and memory tests. Well, temperatures are warming up into the 60s next week, according to our Storm Center 17, but with the spring-like weather comes a warning. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources says boaters should take extra precaution. That's because even though the sun is shining and the temperatures are beginning warmer this time of year, the water right now is still dangerously cool. That poses a risk of hypothermia and drowning. Cold water cools the body 20 times, 25 times faster than cold air. ODNR says people should always wear a life jacket when they're on the water. And we are expecting those temperatures in the 60s for the week ahead. We're also going to see uh, plenty of sunshine for the first half of the week. So a lot of sunshine today, but with a northerly, pretty strong breeze out there, well, you might have been surprised when you went outside because it was pretty chilly. We only made it up to 45 degrees, and that is actually our normal for this time of year. Right now, though, everyone is starting to cool down in the Dayton area. It's 32 degrees. The winds have shifted just a bit. They're now out of the west, northwest at 6. Lots of folks falling below the freezing mark at this hour. You can see in Bell Fountain, it's 28. It's 31 in Urbana, 28 in Troy, Greenville. You're at 30 degrees right now. We're all going to see those temperatures continue to fall during the overnight hours. It's going to be a chilly start for your Sunday and then moderate temperatures again for the afternoon. But that's when the good news happens as we head into Monday. We'll start to see temperatures climbing once again into the 60s. Lots of sunshine for the first half of the week. And then we're going to be greeted with some midweek showers that will be sticking around for a little bit. We'll get to all of those 60 degree temperatures very soon, but first we need one more day of the chilly temperatures. In fact, you might have to uh, give your car a quick scrape in the morning. We'll see a little bit frost out there. So here's how it's going to break down during the overnight hours. We're all going to see those temperatures continue to fall from the 30s back into the 20s and that's where we will head out. If you are an early riser on Sunday, well if you head outside you're going to want a coat. It's going to be chilly with temperatures in the 20s. Sunshine will continue and it will help to warm up just a bit but again we're going to see those temperatures right about where we would expect in the low to mid 40s across the area. Now as we move into Sunday night, it'll again move into the 30s. The good news is we won't get quite as chilly during the overnight hours. So Monday morning, instead of being in the 20s, we will be in the 30s. And that's when we're really going to start to see those temperatures climb. As we put it in motion here, watch the day on Monday at 1 o'clock. We're into the upper 50s. And then we climb in to the low 60s. So very nice for Monday and Tuesday. For tomorrow, though, it's going to be sunny, so beautiful skies out there, but still going to be a little on the cool side with 46 degrees. I don't think we'll see quite the strong breezes, so we won't be dealing with wind chills that different than our actual temperature. Here's your five-day forecast that once we get through Sunday and those temperatures in the 40s, things are going to get a little warmer. We can see 62 on Monday, then 64 for Tuesday, both days lots of sunshine. Now on Wednesday we start out with the sunshine. Temperatures get up into the mid 60s. Then we'll start to see some clouds move in and we will be looking at a chance of showers for the late afternoon and into the evening hours. Those showers are going to linger around and be with us again on Thursday. Still 64 degrees and giving you a, a sneak peek for Friday. It looks like the rain will stick around but so will the temperatures in the 60s. Starting next month, you'll be able to enjoy pancakes with animals at the Cincinnati Zoo. The zoo is going to be offering meals with penguins, red pandas, and Fiona the hippo. Every breakfast includes two animals with you there. Visitors will also get a behind-the-scenes look at the animals' habitats. The breakfast is at 7 a.m. and costs $120 a ticket.